Vikram said, Yash, you could broadcast signals from very high up and we could reach the whole of the country. We could broadcast radio and TV programs to the whole country. I said, what TV programs? We don't even have television in our country. He said, that does not matter. We will develop it. We will learn how to do this. And then this man, Sarabai, goes to Prime Minister Mrs. Gandhi and says, we want to test whether space could be used for such purposes. She says, but where are your rockets and how can you test? He says, I have friends, scientific friends in America, everywhere. Let's see what we can do. But then who receives it in the country? There is no television at all. And Sarabai tells Mrs. Gandhi, no, we don't want to put television sets in the cities. We will put them in thousands of unreachable villages. I think there was something very romantic in this. A scientist exciting a politician to do something very strange, to bring communication all over the country. It was pointed out to Sarabai that there was no country with satellites broadcasting television. He said, so what? We will learn. If it is difficult, we will break it up into pieces. We will learn rockets, learn fuels, learn satellites, learn electronics. We will learn everything. When people asked, what will you talk to the farmers of Bastar about? We said, if it is so, we will learn to talk to farmers. Let us try to make it one country. That was the birth of India's space program. Not built on power, but on purpose. Not on machines but on dreams.